All right, we're on the last section of the site description out here on this sunny day, so I'm kind of sweating. It's nice and warm and windy out here, but uh, the last thing that you're gonna do on site description is tell me how much biomass is out here. The amount of biomass on a site is gonna tell you whether it's good for livestock or wildlife, so it's understanding how much biomass there is is really important. When you come to this site, you'll have three frames, one, two, three in this case. They're round frames, big round frames, and the flag on each of them will be numbered one, two, three. Your job is to look at those three frames, click carefully, and then you're gonna take kind of in your head, take a mental average of those three frames, and then you're gonna put it in one of the categories that's on the score sheet. So again, you're gonna try to look at those three frames, in your head, average them. If you want to make some notes on and try to average them that way, you're welcome to do that. And then just click one for the average of those three. Because as you can see on any range site, it's not very uniform. There are places there will have a lot of biomass and some won't have very much. So we're going to um, ha take an average of those. You are also going to take and see how much biomass of shrubs there are. So first we're just going to take uh, our, our other camera and we're going to give you a close-up look a plot one, plot two, plot three. Then I'm gonna clip them and we're gonna find out how much biomass they actually have. And then you'll know how much you should put on this sheet. Okay, now you had a good look on at plot one, plot two, and plot three. So I'm gonna show you how to clip grass, and I'm gonna show you uh, how much biomass is in here. I'm gonna do all the clipping and weighing, and we'll do the calculations uh, back in the lab. Uh, so first of all, there's two kinds of biomass out here. There's the herbaceous biomass. That's the stuff that is not woody. It's the stuff that will die back to the ground. So all forbs and grasses are herbaceous. Then there's the woody biomass, and in this case we have some nice sound little bitter brush here, and that's the woody plant. We only clip this season's growth, and the reason for that is we're not gonna clip the stuff that was like 10 years old, because if you're a self-respecting deer or elk and you come along here, you're not gonna want that old stuff. You wanna eat the new nutritious stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to see the difference between that old growth and the new growth. And the reason that we're um, separating those two is because we're really thinking about wildlife in this case. This is good wildlife habitat. We want to know what they would find this and how it would find it useful. First thing to do when you're clipping a plot, go around the plot, make sure it's laying down really well. And I usually do that with my clippers. And this one is pretty good. Got it pretty much laying down all the way around. There's a couple kinds of clippers. I use these big ones in most uh, um, hardware stores. You can get these smaller ones. You can even use sheep shears. I've seen people use sheep shears, but these are the kind I use. And if you do a lot of this, you're gonna to wanna to get some nice clippers. So let's start with herbaceous. I just kneel down on the ground and I just start clipping. And I'm just gonna clip everything that is herbaceous. I'm gonna take out last year's growth because that's also not nutritious or delicious. There we go, we got that little buckwheat gone. so I don't lose track of it when I weigh it. But I need to get the shrubs out of here, and here's shrub one. I just still have a little bit of grass here that when I get the shrubs out of the way, I'll be able to see it a little bit better. Um, you can use the shrub clippers, but my clippers are pretty uh, sharp, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip the shrubs out of here so I can see what's going on. See, some of that's really woody, and some of it's not. Here's some grass that got stuck in there, so I'm gonna throw that in my grass bag. Just trying to separate out what is uh, grass or not. Let me show you what is this year's growth and last year's growth. So here is some woody stuff. That's definitely several years ago. And then as you go up the, the stem, it'll start to look a little younger, like here. This is real light, it's real flexible, and so that is part of the new growth. Here's another stem, that's this year's stem. This is woody down here, that's a, a new stem there, real shiny, 
not woody, real flexible. When you're clipping, you're gonna wanna take all of the, the, uh, the leaves off, because those were all this year, and you're gonna wanna clip off that new, those New Year stems. So that's what we're looking for right now is the old growth, leave it behind, take all the leaves off, and take those new stems. And there's some good examples of new stems.